Morning, y'all. Wake up. <laughs> I don't know if I sound country or not, but uh, good morning. Uh, I'll keep on um, waking up, taking y'all time. <clears throat> keep that in mind. One day at a time, you're going to be fine. And take the good with the bad. Uh, you got to deal with both. You can't have left without having right, up and down, you know, how that go. Uh, so you got to take the good with the bad. Keep breathing, inhaling, and exhaling. You're going to be all right, all right. The Lord ain't going to put no more on you than you can handle. Word. That's one thing I do know and believe. If you're in a tough situation, you're a special person. And, and some of the toughest roles and hardest things be given is to certain people. Not everyone can deal with that. You see what I'm saying? But he'll allow you to go through and it'll be for somebody else. All right. So look at it that way. All right. All right. You're going to be all right. All glory, honor, and praise go to my Father in heaven, Lord Jesus, and the sweet Holy Spirit. Got to give credit, honor, and glory to who is due. Amen. Uh, whatever today is, Thursday, I believe. <clears throat> Thursday, June 22, 622 a.m., 2023. It is early. I want to go back to sleep. I had something to say, but I don't really think I'm too funny. Uh, I'm going to say it. I'm going to try it. Uh, anyway, uh, I'll be getting a kick out of them commercials, man. Uh, them animal commercials. Uh, where I know some of them people mean good business. Like where there's some good people, shelters or whatever, they really take care of the animals, and that's cool. I ain't got a problem with that for the animal lovers. That's what's up. They be showing them same commercials sometimes, bruh. I've been seeing the same animal commercials since I was like 16. <laughs> Word. Word, you know what I'm talking about. That same junk, them same dogs. And them junks been gone. People still sending chains in to them people. Feed the animals. You better feed the humans. Uh, the humans going to be extinct if you don't feed. Word. You better take care, take care of yourselves. Sad to say, but people care more about animals than they do humans these days, bruh. I'm telling you. Word. People get up early to go feed the animals before they go give uh, somebody on the corner something to eat. I'm just saying. Word. You know I'm telling the truth if you pay attention. Word. People care a lot about the animals, bro. Word. More than humans. But, uh, better feed the humans or you're going to be extinct. Um, people worry about feeding the animals. That, that, commercials get me every morning. I see them Jones come out and got the dogs. Man, them, them people standing chain. Man, them, 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 them dogs been gone. Word. I'm just saying. Anyway. Yeah, I have a sense of humor. It's early in the morning. Where I'm going to. Uh, <clears throat> well, me the songs of honey. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'm too funny. Them commercials give me, y'all. Every time telling me. Uh, them feed the animal commercial. Better feed the humans. Uh, where? Uh, anyway, Psalms 100, verse 1. Uh, the brother said, Shout for joy to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord, worship, forgive me, Lord. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful songs. Know that the Lord is God. Uh, amen. It is he, uh, it is he who made us and we are his. Uh, we are his people, the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. For the Lord is good and his love endures forever. His faithfulness continues through all generations. Amen. I love that. God is a good God. He is faithful, even when we faithless. You hear me? The wages of sin is death. Uh, and we are all sinners. But each and everybody's, I don't know you, you don't know me, but I'm quite sure <laughs> if you got a body and feet and arms and a mind, whatever <laughs> you're in a, a human body like i am you made some mistakes in your life some people made more mistakes than others or whatever but it don't matter one mistake is the same as making 10 mistakes all right if you messed up you messed up but anyway one thing i love is even on our worst day god's still faithful to us and care about us especially his people you hear me? if you belong to the lord you got to ace up your sleeve <laughs> i'm telling you, you can't I'm, i love that so much if you belong to the Lord, you got to ace up your sleeve. 
you might be living in hell or going through a bad situation, this and that. You might have got yourself landed in a bad situation because of your own fault. But check this out. Even though through your own faults and actions you messed up, but you can't undo what Jesus did for you. I love that. I love that. He loves you so much. He loves his people so much. Um, and he's faithful to us throughout all generations. I love that. Our actions and deserve death. You see what I'm saying? But the gift of God, he get he he, he chose to give us life. He ain't got to wake us up. He, you see what I'm saying? He ain't got to wake us up every day. I love that. <clears throat> I love that. Even your enemy, who where one time we was our enemy. If that make any sense to you, where we come to the Lord, bring us to the other side, and we start living a certain way. <laughs> I'm telling you, even when we think we doing something right, we still wrong somehow, some way. You see what I'm saying? I love that. If you, some people are aware of it, some people not. But uh, I love the fact that God faithful to his people, no matter how much you do, did, or doing. You see what I'm saying? He's lying. You need to know that. <clears throat> All right. Go with me to Luke chapter 1. I'm going to read Luke chapter 1 real quick. I don't know how long I'm going to get in it, but I, I like Luke chapter 1. And talk about the birth of John the Baptist and the birth of Jesus being foretold. Uh, Luke chapter 1, verse 1 say, Many have undertaken to draw up an account of the things that have been fulfilled among us, uh, just as they were handed down to us by those who were from the first, uh, who from the first were eyewitnesses and servants of the word. <clears throat> With this in mind, since I myself have carefully investigated everything from the beginning, I too decided to write an orderly account for you, most excellent uh, Theophilus, so that you may know the certainty of the things uh, you have been taught. The birth of John the Baptist foretold. In the time of Herod, king of Judea, there was a priest named Zechariah, who belonged to the priestly division of Abijah. His wife, Elizabeth, was also a descendant of Aaron. Both of them were righteous in the sight of God, observing all the Lord's commands and decrees blamelessly, but they were childless because Elizabeth was not able to, uh, to conceive. Uh, you see? Listen. And they were both very old. Once when Zachariah's division was on duty and he was serving as priest before God, he was chosen by lot according to the custom of the, priest, uh, of the priesthood to go into the temple of the Lord and burn incense. And when the time for burning of incense came, all the assembled worshipers were praying outside. Then the angel of the Lord appeared to him, standing at the right side of the altar of incense. When Zechariah saw him, he was startled and was gripped with fear. But the angel said to him, do not be afraid, Zechariah. Your prayer has uh, has been heard. Your wife Elizabeth will bear you a son, and you are to call him John. Uh, he will be a joy and a delight to you, and many will rejoice because of his birth, for he will be great. For he will be great in the sight of the Lord. He is never to take wine or other fermented drink, and he will be filled with the Holy Spirit even before he is born. He will bring back many of the people of Israel to the Lord their God. And he will go on before the Lord in the spirit and, and power of Elijah to turn the hearts of the parents to their children and the disobedient to the wisdom of the righteous to make ready a people prepared for the Lord. <clears throat> Zechariah asked the angel, how can I be sure of this? Zechariah was in disbelief. I'm a very, I'm, I am an old man and my wife is very long in years. The angel said to him, I am Gabriel. God sent the angel Gabriel to, to I, I love it. I love this. I love this right here. God sent the angel Gabriel to Zechariah and to Mary. The same exact way God sent the angel Gabriel to my brother, uh, the prophet Muhammad, not the honorable Elijah Muhammad born in Georgia, but the prophet Muhammad born in Saudi Arabia in the year 570 over in Mecca. Where I love it. I love this. I love this so much, man, because God do use prophets, kings, queens. He'll, he'll even use angels to speak to people. 
uh, word. <clears throat> and if and if it's and there and, and if there is any truth behind what they're saying, I love the fact when God always speak, you are gonna see Jesus mentioned right there somewhere. You hear me? And the angels they're not trying to receive credit, or the prophets or the people, and anybody who tr truly serving the Lord, they're not trying to receive credit. You see what I'm saying? They are represent. They are represent God. They they are. They are being used as God's representatives, as God's spokesperson. You hear me? People get carried away in worshiping this and worshiping that. A lot of my Christian brothers think my Muslim brothers worship the angel Gabriel or whatever. Some of them probably do or uh, whatever, but, but, the, but the majority of people who understand, they don't worship the angel Gabriel. I'm telling you, listen to me. A lot of my brother Christians think that. Well, the same exact way a lot of my brother Muslims think uh we got a statue of Jesus somewhere in our house. You see what I'm, I'm telling you? Like, where? Uh, I'm telling you. Listen to me. <laughs> I love this so much, man. Listen. God told us to believe in the one he sent. Believe. Where? Believe, believe in his word. <laughs> believe. Amen. Listen. People get carried away in doing this and doing that. Where? Listen to me, though. Um, oh, yeah. Thank you. Uh, when anyone being used uh, by the Lord to stand in his presence to the people, they're going to look like God. <clears throat> Word. But they're not God. <laughs> they're being used by the Lord. It's a great example of this, what I'm speaking about, in the example of Joseph, when uh, he was being used by Pharaoh, uh, when, the Lord was, when the Lord used him. Or uh, to be like the leader of Egypt or something. You see what I'm saying? Oh, and in, in, in his dreams, when God God gave Joseph two dreams, when uh, his brothers and mother, his brothers and father and mother was bowing down to him. You see what I'm saying? Joseph was not God, but God was God gave Joseph a dream that he was going to be used. You see what I'm saying? Let me re keep reading this because uh, I'm gonna get way off track. I'm gonna spend a whole hour if I keep on thinking about that. But listen. The angel said to him, I am Gabriel. I stand in the presence of God and I have been sent to speak to you and tell you this good news. And now you will be silent and not able to speak uh, until this day happens because you did not believe my words, which will come true at their appointed time. Meanwhile, the people were waiting for Zachariah and wondering why he stayed so long in the temple. When he came out, he could not speak to them. They realized he had seen a vision in the temple, for he had kept making signs to them, but remained unable to speak. Uh, when his time of service was completed, he returned home. After this, uh, his wife Elizabeth became pregnant, and for five months, and for five months remained in seclusion. The Lord has done this for me, she said. And these days, he has shown his favor and taken away my disgrace among the people. The birth of Jesus foretold. <clears throat> in the sixth month of Elizabeth's pregnancy, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a virgin pledged to be married to a man named Joseph. Uh, another Joseph. The, the first Joseph I was talking about was Joseph, the son of uh, Jacob. This, jo this uh, Joseph right here is another man. <clears throat> uh, different time. Yeah, I, the Joseph... The Joseph from I was speaking about uh, a long, long time ago. A whole nother Joseph right here. But from the same family. I like that. Which is quite cool. Uh, all right. <clears throat> uh, Mary, was Mary was pledged to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. Uh, the virgin's name was Mary. Uh, the angel went to her and said, Greetings, you who are highly favored. The Lord is with you. <laughs> Mary was greatly troubled at his words and wondered what kind of greeting this might be. But the angel said to her, do not be afraid, Mary, you who have found favor with God, you will conceive and give birth to a son and you are to call him Jesus. <laughs> uh, one thing I love. One thing I love. <laughs> in the Bible and the Quran, it said that they both say the same thing of how uh, Mary was going to be prayed, get prayed. <laughs> the Holy Spirit going to overshadow you. You hear me? You see the, listen, let me keep reading. 
Uh, do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son. You and you are to call him, Je and you are to call him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of, of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father David. <clears throat> the Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over Jacob's descendants forever. His kingdom will never end. How will this be, Mary asked the angel, since I am a virgin? The angel answered, the Holy Spirit will come on you. Huh? The Holy Spirit will come on you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. <laughs> the angel Gabriel himself told Mary before she was before she was to conceive that the Son to be born to you <laughs> uh, will be called Son of the Most High. Word. Listen. Even before Mary was pregnant, uh, the the angel Gabriel himself told Mary. <laughs> Uh, the Holy One to be born to you will be called the Son of God. <laughs> you know, there's what's, what's so funny, what I find funny is my Jewish brothers, Jesus was crucified. If anybody, if any pastor in a church, in a Christian church, which many of them will agree with me and believe this, that Jesus was crucified, who was the charge? For being king of the Jews. Who was the charge? For claiming to be the son of God. That's what they crucified Jesus for. You hear me? <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> listen. <laughs> Lord, make it clear. Make it clear. Make it clear. Because I started thinking about something. My Jewish brothers <clears throat> in the past... They 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 accepted Jesus as as the Messiah, but crucified him for claiming to be the Son of God. All right, which he which that's who he rightly was. My Muslim brothers, some of them, uh, in the Holy Quran and and in the Islam doctrine, Jesus is listed as the Messiah. No misunderstandings. No mis no mis no misunderstandings. That is who he is, the Messiah. <laughs> the same Messiah he is in the Quran is the same one in the Bible. <laughs> what the people get what some of them get lost as because of the way because of the way the word reads, yeah. <laughs> and if you if you if you don't if you don't believe, I, I love the way the Quran reads because it knock out the unbelievers from I'm telling you, like it it knock it out real quick. <laughs> if you don't really know if you don't know the word, it's going to word. The Lord ain't trying to confuse the people, but he he, he mislead the, the unbelievers. You see what I'm saying? God don't, the God, <laughs> a lot of people get lost in the Quran because one of the verses say, God don't mislead. It say that. But then you read another few verses say, God mislead the unbelievers. <laughs> how how can it say, God don't mislead, but then again, it say, God will mislead the, well, the same exact way, well, well the same exact way in the sense, uh, well, and it's God don't God don't tempt us, but <clears throat> He will allow. If, if you don't, if you don't listen to me, God don't tempt us. When we're being tempted, we're being tempted by evil. You see what I'm saying? And He'll give. It's like sometimes we gotta. Sometimes we could. We got some type of control of. Sometimes we don't. But for the people who don't want to serve the Lord or whatever, that's okay. He will allow you to serve what you want to serve. <laughs> some people be like, how, how will God allow that? Because we got free choice. You see what I'm saying? I love that. Or you see what I'm saying? People get lost and they 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 would you see, do you see what I just now said? Where same exact way. A lot of people they they get they they get mis confused about that or whatever. But listen. My old Jewish brothers, uh they knew about Jesus coming. They accepted Jesus coming. When he came, they didn't do uh Jesus didn't do what they wanted him to do. You see what I'm saying? So they didn't, he, they didn't, I'm worried. They believed who he was, but they, when he started talking about being a son of God, they, 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 he lost the people with that. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? They, they couldn't, they couldn't accept that. He lost it. He lost them. You see what I'm saying? That's why they crucified him. All right. My Muslim brothers right now, the people believe that Jesus is the Messiah. hundred percent true. That's who he is. <laughs> they, they just, a lot, a lot of them are not sure 
or don't believe that he's the son of God. Yeah, but Messiah believe son of God. Not sure. Don't believe. Why is that? <laughs> because it says in the Quran, God does not begot nor was begotten. I hundred percent agree with that. You know, but the word begot mean begot means to have sex physically. When you read the Bible, say Abraham begot uh, Isaac, Isaac begot Jacob, Jacob begot David, uh, um, Jacob begot uh, yeah, Jacob begot David, David begot Solomon, so on and so on, or whatever. And read it in the King James version. Don't say it in the New NIV. Say it in the King James. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> um, uh, Matthew chapter 1, verse 2. Uh, Abraham begot Isaac. Isaac begot Jacob. Jacob begot Judas. Judas, Judas begot uh, uh, these names. <laughs> Word. There's a whole lot of names. I don't feel like reading, but you get the picture. All right. That was physically, when you begot, you physically got to have sex or whatever. God don't do that. <laughs> nah, all he got to do is speak a word. And when he speak a word, it's, it says in the Quran. <laughs> when God is, is uh, all he got to do is speak. Nothing is impossible for the Lord. You hear? Word. But anyway, the people get lost by that. You see what I'm saying? That word. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, the word Messiah, <laughs> As uh, they, they believe that Jesus is the Messiah. That they get lost about the Son of God, the same way the Jews got lost about my brother, uh, about Jesus, about being the Son of God. <laughs> I love the fact that truly no one can just understand that. You see what I'm saying? If anyone just understand that, I'll rip some is rather than people really, really special. <laughs> God opened their eyes up to something that anyone can just understand that off the rip. Jesus said, No one can come to me. <laughs> Word up, last time I checked, he said, No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draws them. You see what I'm saying? Word. <laughs> I love that so much. You see what I'm saying? But you clearly will see Jesus right there. He on the scene. You see what I'm saying? Word. But anyway, the angel Gabriel himself told Mary <laughs> about Jesus and said, uh, the holy the holy one to be born will be called the Son of God. Even Elizabeth, your relative, is going to have a child in her old age. And she who was said to be unable to conceive is in her sixth month. Uh but no word from God will ever fail. Amen. I am the Lord's servant, Mary answered. May your word to me be fulfilled. Then the angel left her. Um, I want to keep reading, but I'm going to be all day if I do. I like that. So I'm going to put a stop in it right there. I'll come back tomorrow, I guess. And finish that. But I like that. And I like that. <laughs> or. I, well, it, it, it's it's quite cool to me that <clears throat> uh, where where the people they they believed in Jesus they just got lost about him being the son of God. <laughs> well, I love that, <laughs> which I understand hundred percent. It make it made perfect sense. <laughs> That's what they crucified Jesus for in the past. They couldn't understand that. <laughs> A lot of people now, only the people who understand that, the Lord allowed them to understand that. That's through the Holy Spirit. And the people who understand that, the understanding of that is. It's hard to explain all the way. You see what I'm saying? But where it where if it's, it's not too is it's with the Holy Spirit is the Lord to make it quite clear to you. Where? <laughs> Cause Jesus messed with the people. <laughs> for the people who like, divisive and trying to figure him out for like where they they trying to figure him out for the wrong reason or they don't believe. He, he went on to mess with the people. In Matthew twenty two, verse forty one. It say, while the Pharisees were gathered together, Jesus asked them, what do you think about the Messiah? Whose son is he? The son of David, they replied. What kind of question is that? The Messiah is the son of David. Who don't know that? <laughs> where, where these people are like, what kind of question Jesus asking, asking is this? Who don't know that? <laughs> that that's, that's elementary. That, you know what I mean? That's what these people are probably thinking. The son of David, they replied. He said to them, how is it then that David, speaking by the Spirit, if you listen to Jesus real good, he'll give you the answer Why he talking. You got to listen real good. I'm going to say it three times. How is it then that David, speaking by the Spirit, how is it then that David, speaking by the Spirit, calls him Lord? Uh, for he says, the Lord said to my Lord, sit at my right hand until I put your enemies under your feet. If then David calls him Lord, 
How can he be his son? <laughs> to be my Lord is to be above me. How can he be my son? If he above me, uh, well, if he above me, how can he be my son? To be Messiah, if he my Lord, that means he's before me. So how can he come after me? How can it be before me and then come after me? If you, huh? How can it be before me and then come after me? If you read the book of Revelation, verse 13, uh, chapter 22, Revelation 22, verse 13, uh, it say, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. Huh? He, <laughs> I love that. How can he come before and then come after? He said he the Alpha and Omega. He was here before, baby. He, gonna, he the first and the last. <laughs> Word. I, I, I love that. I lose it. I lose it right now. I love that so much. He the first and the last. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. The Messiah was here. He was here before and he also come through. I love that. How can that can without the Holy Spirit? You would never understand that. But Jesus, he gave you the answer. <laughs> but for the people who trying to figure God out, and trying to figure him out. I love the fact because in the same exact way the, the Quran speaks to the people. It, it, it do something like this. You see what I'm saying? God ain't trying to confuse the people, but it's, it's for the people who don't believe. And the the where the people the the unbelievers and the people who tend to cause harm or whatever with God's word I'm telling you, it'll throw them off. Where I love the fact that Jesus Jesus himself is he Jesus is not for confusion. But for the people who are always trying to figure him out this and that for the wrong way, why I'm telling you, this this the, the people will hear something that'll mess with them, where you see what I'm saying? I'm telling you. Where I, I love this. <laughs> This only for the people who be trying to figure them out for the wrong way. You see what I'm saying? Where? <clears throat> this the word they get. But if you got the Holy Spirit, the Lord will make it quite clear to you. You see what I'm saying? He give you the answer. Um, where? Jesus, Jesus asked them, what you think about the Messiah? Whose son is he? David, they said. Who don't know that? <laughs> well, how can Dave, how can he be his son? Uh, how was it that uh David speaking by the spirit calls him Lord? You see what I'm saying? If David calls him Lord, how can he be a son? <laughs> no one could say a word in reply. And from that day on, no one dared to ask him any more questions. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I love that. They couldn't understand that. How can he come after me? How can he come? How can he be my Lord and come after me? You see what I'm saying? David said he's seen him before. David was here. A long time before Jesus was here, physically. You see what I'm saying? But the people all knew that the Messiah was going to be David's son. <laughs> David spoke about the Messiah before the Messiah came. He said he's seen him. <laughs> I'm going to get off here with that. God bless y'all. Y'all keep on asking the Lord for the Holy Spirit. He's going to give it to you. It's the Holy Spirit leading the Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus is going to lead us to be home with our Father in heaven one day and get up out of here. You dig? I really want to finish reading that Luke, John. All right. Where I stop it? Uh, I know where I stopped it. I'm going to remember. Uh, but yeah, y'all keep praying for me. I keep praying for y'all too. And y'all keep on taking y'all time. Y'all going to be fine. Amen. I love y'all. I see y'all again one day. Amen.